Join me today as I adjust the gear shift and rear brake lever height on this 2023 Beta 390RRS. <laughs> I have a couple hundred miles on this motorcycle now, and one thing is for sure, I really need to make these adjustments to suit my riding style standing up with Alpine Stars Tech T boots. Generally, these levers come from the factory at almost parallel with the foot pegs, and although while that may work for some, depending on your riding style and the type of boots you wear, you may need to make these same adjustments to your motorcycle. How can you tell? Well, if you're riding standing up and you're in the tack position and you're having a problem getting your boot up under the shift lever when you move from the ball of your foot up to change gears, then you probably need to move that shifter up a spline or two. A similar situation occurs on the rear brake lever, but it's more pronounced because you're typically on the rear brake a little bit longer than you are changing gears. So what happens is when you're on the ball of your feet, you have to flex your ankle quite a bit for the rear brake to engage. And that causes you to rotate your knee forward and your hips to round. And that just totally throws your balance off. First, we're going to start by adjusting the rear brake height. Follow the rear brake lever back until you find the rubber boot. Push the rubber boot up to reveal the adjustment rod nut. Loosen the counter nut with a 12 millimeter spanner. Adjust the rod length using a 10 millimeter spanner. Next, I'm just testing the brake light switch to make sure that the movement that I made with the rear brake lever position is not affecting when the brake light activates and deactivates. I'll do a quick pre-ride test here to make sure it's near the position that I want it and I'll make any fine adjustments later on. Next to finalize, I'll tighten the counter nut and slide the rubber boot back into position. Here you can see the new brake lever height significantly above parallel with the foot peg. Now let's turn our attention to the gear shift lever height. Mark the shaft to indicate the original gear shift position. Start by loosening and removing completely the pinch bolt from the gear shift lever. Slide the shifter lever off of the splines, pulling outwards. Slide the shift lever back on, adjusting it one spline higher. Give it a quick test. Retighten the pinch bolt and you're all set. I hope you found this information useful, and if you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.